confession to make. Sometimes when I'm in a restaurant and I'm ordering off the menu, I skip over to the children's menu and I order the macaroni and cheese for myself. <laughs> and when it comes to the table, I slide it over to my place. I know it's underhanded, but seriously, mac and cheese is the kind of food that is the cure for something I call acute adultitude. <laughs> Adultitude, it's the state of mind you're in after you've spent six hours poring over your own tax return, or if you've ever just returned from your first colonoscopy. Adultitude. <laughs> Mac and cheese is the cure for it because it's basically a little smiley mouse in a bowl. Don't you love them? There's a little smiley mouse in a bowl. And do you guys watch cooking shows at all? I'm, I'm fascinated by them. It looks like science fiction to me, what's going on up there. And some of the recipes are like the length of War and Peace. Have you seen them? <laughs> very complicated with ingredients I can't even go quest for, that I don't even know if my children will ingest if I find them. But um, they, they take very simple things and make them super complicated, like watermelon gazpacho. Have you seen that recipe? Who thought this up, where you would actually cut the watermelon out, cook it, puree it, strain it, put it back in a bowl, chill it to serve it? Is the chewing motion too much for us people? We have to do this to food? I mean. And what about the laziness that's inherent to what we have now, these little salt grinders that are battery operated like this was too much for us? Or the battery operated lollipop spinners like, you know, our kids can't turn it? I just have to say, simple is better. We gotta get back to basics and mac and cheese is about as basic as it gets.